Hey guys, it's Lori and John, and we're here to do a tag today. We saw this on Craig um, Gray Wolf Fitness channel, and I'll link his channel below. I'll put the questions below in case anybody else wants to do them. But this is the old school bodybuilding tag. So, are you ready? Yep. All right. There's eight questions, by the way, and I usually tag people like in the very beginning. But this time, I'm just gonna say that if you want to do this tag go for it let me know in the comment section below if you're gonna do it i have a hair on my face okay here we go number one how old were you when you started lifting probably the ballpark of 10. 10? yeah probably in that ballpark yeah okay well i think i was probably around 13 or 14. did i stick with it all the, all these years maybe not but obviously not Hey. That applies to me as well. <laughs> Number two, what was your motivation? To get bigger. I was scrawny. My whole family's scrawny. Still are, for the most part. Mm -hmm. Just scrawny. I remember you when you were really scrawny. Yeah. When you were my paper boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was my motivation? I'll tell you what my motivation was. My motivation was... I hated gym class. I really hated gym class. And a lot of times for gym class, we were allowed, instead of participating, we were allowed to go to the weight room and just down the hall from the gym. Were you guys ever allowed to do that? No? no. We were allowed to do that sometimes. And the thing about it is now to think back on it, it's like, that's really, it was really kind of strange thing to do because we didn't have any supervision. <laughs> just like a few of us went to the weight room and a couple of the football players, Steve Billingham and Jeff Bain, would go down there and they were supposed to be our supervisors. Really? I went down there because I actually did want to work out in the weight room. Maybe a couple other people did, but not so much. Most of the other girls, it, and it was mostly girls, went just to flirt with the two football players. So my motivation was I didn't want to be like them. I wanted to actually do it. <laughs> so anyways, that was my motivation. Okay. okay. Number three, who were your role models? Jack Lambert and the Road Warriors. Um, probably most people may not know who they are, but... You might be surprised. I would say the Road Warriors because, well, you know, you've seen, you know, the Rocky movies and you've seen, like, the Terminator and Conan the Barbarian movies. But these two guys were, and I've seen some professional wrestling... Didn't pay a lot of attention to it, but you had your guys built like uh, Ric Flair, Roddy Piper, and uh, let's see, I mean, and Hulk Hogan to some degree, but these guys were just absolutely enormous and cut, and I've never seen guys like that in real life move like that i know it's scripted and everything but they still moved like that yeah even though it's scripted which at the time i didn't know it was scripted but yeah but, but to see them live them move that way not in a movie or anything i mean these were really guys really moving like that yeah and professional wrestling even though it's scripted and a lot of people say i don't watch that it's fake those people are in shape they are they are really athletic to be able to do the moves that they do anyway so the Road Warriors. Yeah. When you were a kid, you were like awed by them. Yes. Yeah. Did you ever see them in person? Yes. <laughs> and what'd you do? Shrunk away and like a coward. Yeah. <laughs> because back then you could get back there. It was right before, you know, the Hulkamania thing took off and ninety-three thousand people in the stands. And back then, just before that, you could get back there in the hallways and stuff and. Had wrestlers coming out of the dressing room as they were leaving and getting their autographs and stuff. And well, they came walking out and you know, and they're walking out and bandanas and stuff. And oh, I just shriveled up like a flower against the wall. I was like, ooh, forget it. <laughs> you were a little kid though. Yeah. I, you might want to point that out. <laughs> 10 or 11. Yeah, this wasn't like a year ago or anything. He was like 10 or 11. But yeah, so okay. What number were we on? Okay, number four. What kind of music did you listen to while working out in those early days? <coughs> I 
the very beginning, I don't really recall. Maybe at the you know the first couple of years, probably whatever top forty stuff that was on the radio, probably. And then it became songs from the Rocky soundtrack, and then you know a couple of years beyond that, then it started becoming the. 80s hair bands, basically, 80s metal, ACDC, Def Leppard, Motley Crue, Metallica, Guns N' Roses, I mean, stuff like that. And it is still those very some same ones now. And Craig, I have a thing for you. I see your vinyl covers, vinyl records, and the covers for the Rocky IV soundtrack and your Rocky III soundtrack. If you go get this one, this has all of them from all the soundtracks. You might already have it, but you know, he just wanted to point out that he's a big fan of that too. So, <laughs> but yeah. And the case is empty because it's probably in the CD player now. Yeah, it probably is. You know what? I never answered the last question. Who was my role model? Yeah. Just real quickly. My role model was my dad. He was my role model. I remember seeing him walking around I mean, he used to walk around without his shirt on all the time. He's a construction worker, and he was cut. He was cut. He always had a dark tan, so, you know, that, that always kind of makes it, what, like, amplifies it or whatever. But I always thought, I want to be like my dad. So, he was, he was my role model. And what kind of music did I listen to? Same music I listen to now. And I brought this out. This is what kind of music I listen to. But yeah, and I brought this one. The Motley Crue's right up there with them too. My my favorite to listen to. But yeah, this is what I started out with though. I recorded a concert flashback from the radio and listened to it on my boombox while I worked out in the laundry room with the door closed. <laughs> so Your Motley Crue selection isn't the greatest, but My Motley Crue selection? What do you mean? The band's fine, the band but your choices of their songs. What? Some of the songs you play from them are not their best ones. What can I say? You feel the same way about Def Leppard, though, because I like old school. I mean, I like all of it, but I really like the old school stuff, and you prefer the newer. Yeah. But anyway, we're starting to ramble now. Number five, what kind of equipment did you have? The old basic standard one-inch plates and bar. The plates were the concrete wrapped in, like, a gray plastic just in. So they hit the floor a few times and if you did flies once in a while you might get a piece of some concrete <laughs> particles in your face and Yes. Yeah, that's about what it was. Yeah. Yeah. The equipment I started out with was very little. I asked for I don't even remember if I got them for like birthday or if I just if my mom and dad just bought them for me or what. But it was just a pair of ten pound dumbbells and they were they were the like the plastic coated ones, but it was like all one piece. But I also somehow ended up with some of my dad's old dumbbells with the little bar with the, the concrete plastic coated plates. And then that thing that you had to sit there with a wrench and tighten it on the, mm -hmm. um, the collar to hold the plates on. Yep, that was it. And you're right, because I can remember lifting weights with them and I could hear it like rattling. And I always wondered, what is that? <laughs> but yeah, okay. Did you follow structured workout plans? No. No. Just put weight on the bar and just lift it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much the same for me. I mean, I just I just made stuff up, really. And I would add a lot of aerobics into mine. But, again, I made that up, too. <laughs> but, hey, it worked. It worked. At the beginning, I mean, yes. yeah. So, anyway. Number seven. Did you work out alone? Yes. Always. Pretty, yeah, always. Because I was... The weight sets for my brother's and stuff and they never used them so I mean so they just kind of sat around until I started using them and yeah just alone I'm kind of I mean you say they never used them I totally believe that because I'm kind of surprised that they even had a weight set to be honest they just aren't interested in that sort of thing mm -hmm. not at all well anyway did I work out alone yeah I did I worked out by myself went in the laundry room closed the door and everybody left me alone so all right, number eight, last question. What kind of impact did working out have on your life in those early years? I suppose to a degree, more confidence. I mean, I, uh, 
like I said, I was very scrawny. And I'm 6'3", and I was 6'3", already, by the time I was like 6th or 7th grade. I don't know, maybe 7th, 6th or 7th grade. I was already 6'3". So I was pretty gangly and uncoordinated. So I didn't have, you know, coordination, athletic ability, speed. I didn't have that stuff. And so the only thing it gave me was an advantage or an equalizer to anybody else. That I, and, you know, it gave me some strength that most of my friends or people my age at that time weren't doing. So, I mean, it was the only thing that gave me something of my own. I didn't, like I said, I didn't have any other athletic skills, so. Yeah. Yeah, it, that's, my, my answer's the same. It gave me confidence. So, yeah. And that's pretty much what it does now, really. It gives me confidence, makes me feel strong. That feels good. But, um, <laughs> you said you were scrawny. It made me think of when you told me about when you were in college and they were trying to make you gain weight. Oh my, that's horrible. For the football team. <laughs> Yeah, because when I was a freshman in college, I was an offensive lineman, but I only weighed like 216 or 219, something like that. Very, because, you, know, you know, obviously that's very small. You got wide receivers that are that size or larger now. And uh, every morning I was required to go to breakfast, every single morning, scrambled eggs with that fake synthetic, like... Cheese sauce. Cheese sauce on it. <laughs> with chunks of ham in it. And a cinnamon and raisin bagel slathered with peanut butter. Every... Every morning. No cuss. <laughs> yeah, to this day... You cannot eat it. No. <laughs> you can do the scrambled eggs if I make a nice omelet. I can scrambled eggs. Not with cheese sauce. I... Probably do a bagel with peanut butter, but probably not the cinnamon raisin one. Yeah. <laughs> but, anyways, that just made me think of that. So, yeah, that's everything, guys. So, anybody that wants to do this tag, go for it. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to do it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.